Susanna of Rome was a Christian martyr of the Diocletianic persecution. Her existing hagiography, written between about 450 and 500, has found very less historical value, and the relations it attributes to Susanna may be entirely fictitious. It is probable that a real martyr named Susanna lies behind the literary invention. Her feast day is on August 11th in the Roman martyrology, but since 1969, her veneration has been limited to the church of Santa Susanna in Rome. We will now learn about one of the legends surrounding this saint today. In the heart of ancient Rome, there lived a young girl named Susanna. She was nobly born, a cherished daughter of a certain Gabinius, a respected man who had once been a high-ranking official. Gabinius had a life-changing encounter with Christianity, and his heart was transformed by its teachings. He became a devout follower of Jesus Christ and eventually took up the sacred role of a priest. Susanna was not only blessed with a loving father, but also had the honor of being the niece of Pope St. Caius. Her family's faith and devotion were deeply rooted in Christianity, and they were even related to the mighty Emperor Diocletian himself. From a young age, Susanna was raised with great care and tenderness. Her father instilled in her a strong love for God and taught her to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ with unwavering faith. As she grew older, Susanna made a private vow of virginity, dedicating her life solely to serving God and living a pure existence. Christian Family TV is made possible by your generosity. Because of your donation today, we were able to create more than 200 plus wonderful stories on saints, stories of faith, and many other interesting videos to teach our kids. Yes, you are making a difference. We could not do what we do without you. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with, or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He smile on you and be gracious to you. Thank you, and God bless you. In the heart of the empire, Emperor Diocletian held a special place for his favorite, Maximian. Susanna's beauty and noble lineage caught the emperor's eye, and he believed she was the perfect match for Maximian. With this intention, Diocletian dispatched a member of Susanna's own family, a man named Claudius, to propose the marriage on his behalf. However, when Claudius presented the proposal to Susanna, she remained resolute in her faith and made it clear that she could not accept the emperor's proposition. She disclosed her sacred vow of virginity and expressed that even if she hadn't made such a promise, she would never marry a man responsible for the brutal persecution and massacre of countless Christians. Claudius, upon witnessing Susanna's conviction and listening to her confession of faith, was deeply moved. Her words struck a chord within him, and he found himself undergoing a profound transformation. He too decided to embrace Christianity, choosing to follow the path of righteousness. When Diocletian received no response from Claudius regarding the success of the mission, he grew furious upon learning about Claudius's conversion. 
he decided to take matters into his own hands and ordered the arrest of Susanna, her father Gabinius, and several other Christians. Despite the looming threat of persecution, Susanna remained steadfast in her beliefs. She bravely faced the emperor's wrath and endured beatings in her residence. However, the cruel hand of fate was not kind to her, and she was secretly beheaded. But the story does not end in tragedy alone. Diocletian's wife, Prisca, had also secretly embraced Christianity. Upon learning of Susanna's fate, she lovingly and reverently buried the young girl's body in a hidden place, praying to her as a holy martyr and seeking her intercession in times of need. Moved by Susanna's courage and faith, Pope St. Caius decided to honor her memory and sacrifice. He transformed the very house where she once lived into a church. St. Susanna's story did not remain confined to the walls of Rome. News of her bravery and devotion spread like wildfire reaching the farthest corners of the empire and beyond. Her tale touched the hearts of countless people, and her name became synonymous with unwavering faith and unyielding courage. <laughs>